Our next task will be to make our button actually do something when it is clicked. To do that, we will need to create what's called an event handler. In this video, I will be explaining what that is. An event handler consists of different objects that interact with each other. It's made up of a couple of lines of code that will allow us to tell our program to respond in some way whenever some specific event happens, which is why it's called an event handler, because it allows us to handle an event. An event handler is made up of four general things. An event, an event source, an event listener, and a response. Let's talk about what those are, starting with the event. An event is something that happens while the program is running. For example, while the program is running, the user decides to type something. So that could be an event, that moment when the user presses a keyboard key. When a window in your program closes, that could be another event as well. Or when an image file finishes loading into your program, that is yet another example of an event. There are many different types and instances of events that can happen while a program is running, and we could choose to handle those events and make our program do things when those events occur. For this example, the event that we want to handle is a click event. When the user clicks on the button, we want something to happen. The button here would then be the event source. The event source is the object in your program that dispatches the event. In most cases, this is the object that the event happens to. So for example, if the user clicks on a button, then the event source is that specific button that was clicked on. To understand what it means when I say that the event source dispatches the event, you can imagine the button, if it could speak, actually announcing to the rest of the program that it has been clicked. So you can imagine it dispatching the click event by shouting, Hey everyone, I've just been clicked. And when it announces that event, there has to be another object designated to actually listen to that announcement. And that object would be the event listener. Event listener objects are objects that are notified whenever an event is dispatched. An event listener object's job is to just sit and wait and listen for a specific event to occur. So if we want to handle a click event, then we will have to create an object that will just wait and listen for whenever a click actually happens. You can think of a listener object as a lookout person, but instead of looking, that person instead is trying to hear something. This person just sits there and waits and just listens for an event source to shout that an event has actually happened. And finally, whenever a listener object hears the event announced, it will then trigger the desired response. The response is what we would like to happen when the event occurs. For example, if a user clicks on a button, then a response could be to play a sound file or to display an image or maybe to open a new window. The response is specified using the event listener object as we will see later on when we implement one. In this example, we will just specify a simple response that will have the program print out a message when the button is clicked. In the next video, we'll actually begin implementing the event handler.